What's up everyone, this is SaneSonic91, back once again for some more Let's Play Castle Crashers. In the last part we took care of the catfish fight, and this part we're going to start off by going back a little bit and checking out the thief store. Because there are some stuff that I may want to purchase, such as potions, which will fully heal you if you press the B button, but unfortunately you can only carry up to 5, and bombs, which you can carry up to 9. I'm going to only carry up to four, though, so... Don't want to spend too much on one item. What is it? <laughs> I doubt they'll ever last. So yeah, if you go up to the guys, they'll tell you certain stuff, or just spew garbage, or whatever. Here is the tall grass field. Home of the mighty bear army. Something back here? No, it's the wrench. Just stand over by here and you'll get the wrench. <gasps> teddies! Kill the teddies! Yeah, this entire thing, <laughs> the entire stage is all about these bear enemies. Or mostly about them, since they're your main enemies. So yeah, these guys are kind of unique. The fact that they're just cute little cuddly teddy bears. Alright. What now? More bears. I believe that if if you beat if you beat the game as the character you get from beating the Red Knight with, you'll be able to play as the bear. I really don't really want to spoil anything, but then again, this is the internet, so it's going to happen. But you try it and find out for yourself. Pretty simple. Apparently this one wants to do the Kirby dance. I don't get it either, but... And he turns into the Tasmanian Devil. But he's pretty easy to take care of, especially if you use the juggling trick. But if you let him up for like a few seconds at a time, he will start to do the tornado thing. The tornado move. It's not very easy to beat him when he's doing the tornado thing. And we got a new animal friend! This is the Ram! He will occasionally smash enemies with his head. He's kinda cute just floating there. Whoa! Brute Bears! And yeah, if you want to change your item that you're carrying, just press the left or right bumpers. You're gonna need it against these guys. I also lo love the domino effect that this game gives. If you knock an enemy into another, it just keeps on racking up damage. Like I mentioned with the Mother Troll. The mother of all bitches! See, he occasionally does it, but it's not very reliable, so... You're, you have a better chance of doing it on your own than relying on the ram. And to get past these arrows, just hold out your shield and start walking. Should be pretty easy. And then attack one of them so it will stop. And then <laughs> this face is just priceless. Blow this one up and take care of him. Pretty easy. More damn bears! I've had my fill of you already. I admire how big these stages can be. I mean, how long do you think it would it took? for everyone to design all these stages, not to mention the moves and all the effects that go into making this. And this is and this is not some low budget bullshit. This is high quality. Okay, where are we now? Pretty sure there was something over here. No wait, I think it was over here. Use your bombs right here. Rock? 
No. I'm remembering... I'm remembering shit wrong. Sorry, we'll have to get back to that later. And of course, they have to leave just as I'm getting right next to them. Gee, bastards. But we'll get them. Sooner or later. Fuck you, bats! Oh god. We got slimes. These guys are pretty easy to take care of. The most they do is just try to jump on your face, but if you just do one continuous front attack against them, then you should have no trouble at all. The bad thing is, you can't really get them up in the air since, you know, they're slimes. They just fall right to the ground. And throwing them does nothing. Yeah, I forgot to mention throwing. If you're close enough to your enemy, you'll throw them in instead of just using your weapon. So I didn't mention that before. Anyway, moving on. A few more slimes, then we'll fight the boss of this area. Fight a lot of bosses in this game. But hey, I'm not complaining, I love boss fights. They test all your skills. Speaking of which, I actually beat both Dissidia, Final Fantasy, and the original Final Fantasy for the PSP in one day. So that's pretty damn good. Alright, that should be it. And here we have the boss, Pipistrello. I have no idea what that means, but I know it's Italian, so... Think, think of it what you will. Basically attacks with his tongue, and by shitting on your face. I wish I were joking. It's pretty easy to combo him once he gets in the air. But watch out for the feces, because it will sting. And he's defeated. But once you beat him, he becomes a partner. The little bat. Let's go. And then we get a shitload of gold. You gotta stay away from my gold. And that's basically the level, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's, let's divvy it up a bit more. And once you hit those blue... Thank you, King. I was going to explain that. Once you hit a new blue line on the magic meter, that will give you a new magic technique. Basically, what this first one is, it's a magic projectile. And there's no point in going to the industrial castle since you don't have what you need to get inside. And this guy will just mock you. You aren't beefy enough to break the door. You can't even... Like, cheat your way up there. So, all you have to do is just leave. But we will be back and we will be beefy enough to break that door. But anywho, the flower field. Where we face... BEES! And unlike most of the time, you actually have... Guys who will help you out in the field. And what the bat will do is that he'll... Jump on the enemies and... Basically you on them and immobilize them so you can beat their asses in. He's kind of the same as the ram except he actually goes towards the enemies and latches onto them instead of just hitting them and then skedaddling. One bad thing about this, uh, these guys are going to steal your XP pretty easily and if the king gets knocked off you can have his horse. Yay! So that's, that's entertaining. And here we'll have the beekeepers. Pretty easy to take care of, just like all the other enemies. And I believe if you beat an enemy, like, hard enough, or many enough, you'll soon get their weapon. But his weapon is a, among the most pain in the ass to obtain. I believe his is just like a, just a wooden bat or something like that. But, it's not really all that useful, but hey, if you're a collector, you probably want it. 
be sure to hit the button at the top so you can get long enough range and if you hit the top you get an achievement. Big surprise. Here we got the cone heads, which wield lightsabers. And I guess I should show off the projectile attack if I can get away from the goddamn enemies long enough. Well, I can't really see it on top of here, but I'll show it once I get to a less obscurative plane. But these guys are very defensive, so it may take a few swings to put them down. And, of course, if you beat them, you'll get the lightsaber. But now you got four little minions to help you out. Which is always fun. And that's also a good strategy to use. When you're doing the run attack and you just rush right headlong into a group of enemies. And also, if you're close enough to a grounded enemy, you'll do the stomp. Not the strongest of attacks, but it can help out in a pinch. And also, the bombs can hurt you and your enemies, so be careful. I'm being really informative in this. Beat your ass! I'm getting Batman Robin flashbacks here. Damn foreground. Jesus, how many times does it take to beat your ass? And all I give me is one effing coin. That's karma. Oh god, brute. And I'll switch over to the potions, make sure I don't die. Dying in this game is kinda irritating if you don't have potions. If you have potions, then you'll pretty much just come right back. It's kind of like a, a life spell or a phoenix down, in a way. At least that's what I figure. Jesus! Die already! All I'm getting is chump change! Wall! Or window. And there she goes again. But I had to crush his cake. And if you get rid of some of the tables around here, you can get yourself some free health. I guess you can call me the wedding crasher. I think now I can show off the projectile attack. It's pretty much a scolding hammer. And for all the characters, it's gonna be different. Like the the red the red knight can shoot out lightning. The orange one will shoot out fire. You'd think with the red one it, it would shoot out fire and the orange one would do something else. But whatever. I'm not the designer. And the green one will shoot out poison. Which kind of makes sense. Green, toxicity, whatever. And with the pink knight, it'll, it'll be very, very weird. The, the Pink Knight has the most awkward, bizarre moves in the game. And I believe his starting weapon is a lollipop. So, make of that what you will. But for these guys, I believe it's just throwing bombs. Because that's what they've been doing for most of the fight. And if you... If you pretty much tap all your skills into strength for your character, you're, you're pretty much just done with the game right there, because all your attacks will do massive damage against your enemies. Maybe as much as like 30 damage with each swing. And it also depends on the weapon you're using as well. But for the most part, if you have a good balanced weapon, you're pretty much just death incarnate. And you pretty much get that way halfway through the game. So it's very easy to level up and get yourself maxed out that quickly. We have more windows. Damn it. Don't know how long this is going to last, but hey, 
whatever works. Get rid of these guys as fast as we can. I should have went back and got myself a different partner because the bat isn't all too good. I mean, he only does it sometimes, but sometimes. I'm just repeating myself. But he won't do it very often. He only do it like I'd say 35% of the time. Even that, he won't do much damage. He's pretty much there for immobilization. He's just there to get enemies off guard. So he's not too he's not too powerful or useful as the anim other animals can be. Meat, the greatest of treats. Let's go, buddy. Here is the Conehead Groom, and he can kind of be a pain in the ass, especially if he gets cheap shots. But when you've done enough damage to him, or when a certain time limit comes out, he'll start playing the organ. During this time, you cannot hurt him. All you can do is run away. And soon after, he'll just come right back out, and then you can start dealing damage to him again. A good strategy is just to pin his ass in the corner and, and just wail on him. Otherwise, he will do some serious damage to you. Especially with that spinning attack. Okay, he's halfway done. And every time you make him go over to the organ, the firing will go faster and faster. So, just a fair warning. It won't be the same speed every time. And then he'll start shooting in, he'll start shooting clusters. And be careful to also use your guard and make sure you don't get hit as often as I was in the beginning. Just be careful not to defend and attack at the same time, otherwise you'll be doing nothing. And what I just did there was a struggle. When, it, when both characters attack at the same time, you mash the X button to see who will win the struggle. It doesn't do any more damage than a regular strike, but whatever. You get to attack your enemy. Holy shit. Whoa! This guy's... Fruitcake! Alright, enough with the damn bombs! Go... Wait! Die already. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut it here, so that's a little bit anticlimactic, but whatever, we can just go right back to it and divvy up the points. I'm always gonna do this kind of kind of way to do it. And I'm gonna quickly check out the church store before I turn it in for the day. Get more potions. <laughs> Luckily potions aren't that uh, not that expensive. Monkey face raises your luck fighting items. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's too useful. I've never been one for just looking for items, and all this other stuff is crap. Whatever you say, dude. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today. So next time in Let's Play Castle Crashers, we'll be going on to the parade to save the. Green princess, I'm guessing? Yeah, I think it's the green one, so I'll see you guys next time.